Here's Tua. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Drive as they come up on a third and 12. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. Yeah, the pressure gets there, and Tua's gone as he sends this one away. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. Now Lance on the bootleg. They'll roll him out right. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he is out of bounds inside the drive as this is third and ten. Here's Lance. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And Gold is able to put it through. And a 49 to 39. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have. I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I'll. And across the chalk into the end zone. Led to a touchdown, so decent sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So they have to decide do we even. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And he's got it. What a catch on the side. All the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Here's a throw dropped off to his fullback. And able to get him down, but he does. From the two now, second and goal. Looking to pass. Tua. Touchdown! It's complete. See, leading 10-7. And yeah, they may just want to get this to the locker room. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. Off of play action. Here's Lance. Here's a diving catch right side. First, now second and ten. Now Lance again. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. They do go for it. Lance. Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the return stops at the 39 yards. Telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Worth noting, you know, that visiting sideline is getting the worst of this. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. The 20. And into the end zone, a pick six. Aren't the drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen. It's just and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders. And, and this is caught right along the sideline. What a jump. Talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of... To throw on second and ten. Tua. That's going to be caught. And they will on the yard line. It'll go as no gain on the play. And now they're looking at a third and goal. Tua now, third and goal. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. Spot here from the right hash and a bit of a tight angle. Sanders' kick is good to get this drive underway. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. To run the best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And he's going to have a Niners first. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. 
And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to stop it from here on out. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A handoff running left is Mostert. And very little there. He might have had. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll just get rid of it. Fair catch called. It's taken points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. Easily done. Here's Tua. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken. Tua to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. And they fuck. Tua. And that'll be knocked away. It's it. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Now Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And yes, he's into the end zone. Heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown. They're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. That's caught. And he's going to get in for the two points. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you. From seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. And that's going to be incomplete. Completion right there. Back to throw. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and in. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And he's free going down the Side. It's a foot race. And he almost made it, but just short. Finally out of bounds. Right down around the goal 